Why, hello everyone! I'm your lovely host, Innocent, and welcome to Yure Station. This is apparently a, like, point-and-click-ish style adventure visual novel thing set in Japan, so this is gonna be fun. Let's just, just go and d d d start a new game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Star game. Apparently everything is just pencil and watercolor drawn, so it's really nice. Anyway, I left home before this morning, long before dawn, before anyone might hear me. I had to be careful not to wake my parents. They wouldn't understand. Who knows where this empty train is heading? All I can do is watch the landscape as it unfolds before me. Am I dreaming? Yure Station. Ghost Station. This train's vibrations relax me. I try to clear my head. But suddenly my heart tightens. I feel a presence. It's getting closer. Invisible. It's breath heavy against my neck. I don't dare move. I got a new message. The message says I see you. I look around in a panic. There's still no one. Repeating words, train, 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 444, train, train, train. At first I thought it was some kind of bad joke. The station is closed at this time of night. But in the days that followed, it haunted me. I lost sleep. What if... Earlier this morning, I snuck into an empty station. The train was waiting for me. My heart broke when I read those words. Help me. He wrote them, I know it. The first message I got a few weeks ago. I thought it was a technical problem, then learned the news. Oh, oops. I wish I could go back. Before I started receiving these messages. Before this horrible day. I can't make out the name of the sender. Oh, there we go. I feel like this chain will never stop. That night will never end. I've been trapped in darkness for months. I can only read a few words. I'm waiting for you. No, that doesn't make sense. I must be wrong. Okay. Let me look at this again. Because puzzle! Uh, that. So this. Triangle. Other dome. And that kanji. So this one. This one. This one. And this one. That's it. The lines cross over one of no... The lines cross over uh, one of the stations. Strains. It's the only one with no name.
Well, isn't that ominous? Ooh. I can't help but le hesitating before leaving. There no, there's no telling me what might be waiting for me on the outside. Squishy sounds. Happy face. Some of the lanterns are glowing faintly in the dust. Remember when we used to hang out by, at the small village festivals? The crowds in the old streets. The distant laughter. Memories come flooding to me. But I have to hold them back. No matter how hard I try, I can't read the name on the sign, looking closely at the peeling paint. It hits me that this village must have been deserted a long time ago. A shadowy shape brushes past me, whipping up warm air. I think it... I think of a hand occasionally grazing mine, or a blurry face glimpsing through a window. I shiver. The shape has slipped through the shadows in between houses. I don't dare follow it. The windows are like dead eyes pointed directly at me. This match is, in, is indecipherable, but there's something ominous about it. It looks like an eyeball. This game is just really aesthetically pleasing to me. It's a horror game. It's watercolors. It's just, it's nice. And it's, 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 it's simple and nice and yeah. Not everything has to be really extravagant and done in, like, Unity HD quality, you know? Anyway, a massive wooden door is blocking the path. I press my ear against the door and close my eyes. A rustling, the rustling of leaves is like a soft voice inviting me to come in. I see what it has to be. It's a mail thingy. You have mail. <laughs> oh, those are really nice. Anyway. Back when I was a little kid, I often play hide and seek in the dark cedar forest. Ever since then, I've been imagining shadowy figures lurking behind every tree trunk. I cannot see them, but I know they're watching. The little lantern thingies are really nice. Oh look, shadowy figures! Hi! I stop midway, about to burst into tears. Their eyes are white. Their eyes are weighing on the back of my neck. I can hear them whispering between the trees. They know nothing about me. Who gave them the right to judge? I really like these. They're drawn really nicely. And the music's really good too. Just... Mmm, good shit. Good shit! Pass through the archways, go to the temple. Standing in front of the Tori, I remember his words. Those are doors to another world. I wonder what it's like over there. Do you think it's any better? Let's go through the Tori. Suddenly I'm afraid. I'll only find emptiness in the end. Oh, they're so cute, the little spirits! 
I climb the steps and make my way through the tunnel of Tori. On the other side, I'm on the other side now. I breath a sigh of relief. A vast cemetery stretches out before me, dotted with sharp rocks and craggy trees. Willow whiffs float here and there, like faded memories. I look up at the big empty sky. Its pure color fills my senses. Let's go through the gateway. The floating gateway. My footsteps grow more confident, my feet becoming weaker. My fear. I feel like I'm getting closer. Hello! Again, those eyes are staring at me. How long? How I long to slip out of their reach and escape them forever. Let's go. Hi! A huge, wa waxy face watches me with a strange smile. I'm afraid I might try to... I'm afraid it might try to swallow me up if I get any closer. Hey! Nani! The same glitch sentence repeating itself. Come in, come in. In come, in come. Oh? A Gya Ri Let's go It's floating I like the tech like the, the just the bleeding on it. The path disappears into the edge of an empty landscape. Of course it was too good to be true. I no longer have the strength to return home. I've lost all hope. In this place. Since always. I wait. Oh dear. The whispering stop. The eyes turn away. We're alone again. Together. I hold my breath. My heart is racing. Oh, that's not creepy at all. What? I want to speak, but I can't. His hands are cold, his eyes are so harsh. But it doesn't matter. I'm happy. This is the most beautiful day of my life. The end. That was really nice. Graphics of the game, game are hand-painted with pencils and watercolors by high school students. It was done in two days, March 2nd and 6th and 7th during workshop or something or another. That was really nice, and I really liked how much love was put into this game. It was definitely a Japanese horror story. I can't really say it's a horror story. It wasn't really that creepy. It was more sentimental, really. Though, I would say that that's most Japanese horror stories and folklore. <laughs> but it was really nice. I would play anything else by this creator. It was... it was good. It was good. Thank you so much for making this game. It was... really, really nice. Sir... Yeah... Her phone is still on the train. She's still getting... Okay, the game crashed. That's a good way of ending a game. Game's done. Okay, bye. <laughs> but 
a lot a lot of Japanese horror stories when it comes to ghosts and all that. They'll have you on a train or whatever and like this is more Japanese creepy pasta. But they'll have you on a train or a subway system and they'll have you traverse through a tunnel or something and they'll have your phone fall out of your pocket or something. And you'll keep getting messages and messages from your family and whatever. And you go to leave the train, but you can't pick up your phone. And it's because you're dead. They have a weird connection with trains. I don't fully understand it myself since I'm not part of that culture. But I have the sense of a lot of trains go through archways. And in Japan, archways are meant to signify archways into other dimensions and other places. And most of the time when you go through an archway in Japan, it's a superstition that you need to hold like your breath because you don't want your soul to escape. You know? Anyway, that's enough about that. This was a very beautiful game. And I long to make something like that, even though I'm not a game creator by any means. I would like to be a storyteller and I have a few stories that I would love to get out But I'm not an animator, and I'm not really a storyteller. And I don't know how to get them out, really. So, hopefully, I can take inspiration from people like this and just just get get my words out there, if that makes any sense. Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful time. And I hope to see you all so very soon. Peace out. Janet!